There are moments when we get sick or our health is not as good as we would like it to be. And most of these times we fall sick because of that nasty and annoying bacteria. We might miss out on appointments because of them or be unable to work and enjoy time with our friends, family, and loved ones. But this will not be a concern for you for a long time. Today we will talk about a remedy that will help you through these hard times. A remedy that is said to be stronger than the combination of garlic and lemon. Wonderful, is it not? Shall we dive right into it and talk about how we make this potion? Well, let us start with the ingredients first. Because it is only by learning about the ingredients you will understand just how strong this remedy is. Here are the ingredients. The first ingredient for this recipe is one whole lemon. As many of you already might know, lemon is a common ingredient when it comes to a fight against bacteria. So it is no surprise when you see it on this list too. While it is a potent remedy against colds, it also helps build our immune system. Lemon has been a constant when it comes to being a remedy against all kinds of cold and bacterial infections. Lemon also has other benefits. It contains iron and potassium. These two factors contribute to their ability to reduce bad cholesterol in the blood. This further helps in normalizing blood pressure and heart function. While lemon has its benefits, it alone will not be as potent as we want it to be. So the next ingredient is aloe vera. You may be familiar with the overall perks of aloe vera. It has a rejuvenating touch on the skin, and it helps in rebuilding collagen fibers. Collagen fibers are like the skeleton of our skin. But did you know about its remarkable antibacterial powers? Let us talk about its ability to heal wounds faster, especially in the form of irritating rashes. Aloe vera works to accelerate the healing process and provide you relief. It is like a natural first aid kit against all this. That is not all. Aloe vera also combats against eczema, helping your skin face this challenging condition. Its antibacterial properties contribute to the calming and soothing of the skin. And so, it makes for an amazing companion in your quest for healthy, radiant skin. It also continues to help you against bacteria. Now, does it make sense to add aloe vera to the mix? But wait, there are more ingredients. After all, this is supposed to be a remedy that is way more potent than just garlic and lemon. The next ingredient that you will be adding is ginger. You might already know how ginger helps with sore throats and coughs. This is because ginger inhibits the growth of various bacteria in your body that are responsible for infections. As we already just mentioned, ginger is strongest against respiratory infections in your body. From helping your cold to soothing your sore throat, ginger is one of the best remedies. So its antibacterial effect should not come as a surprise to anyone. Its anti-inflammatory effects also help in aiding with its fight against bacteria in your body. Ginger is also known to help you with digestion. It stimulates the production of gastric juice in your body and thus improves your appetite. All this helps ginger boost your immune system against bacterial infections. Next on the list is honey. You might know honey as a sweet addition to many of your food endeavors, but honey is also an ingredient that is very healthy for your body. Honey can help you heal wounds and burns due to its antimicrobial properties. Honey also aids in countering against diseases of the circulatory system and digestive organs. Along with its antiseptic properties and low pH, honey helps kill bacteria and prevent bacterial growth in your body. Did you ever think that something you would enjoy with your desserts would be so beneficial for your body and health? Has the video been informative for you? I hope you have found a few of the answers you were looking forward to. Every ingredient in this remedy promises to be a stronger concoction than garlic and lemon. If this has been informative, please show your support by liking and sharing this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. Who knows, they might need this video too, as it can help with so many bacterial illnesses. But do not leave just yet. Stick around till the end to see just how we combine these ingredients to give you what you have been waiting for. Here's the recipe. The recipe for this potion is quite simple, really. The first step starts with washing your lemon and aloe vera. For this recipe, you will need one whole lemon and 200 grams of aloe vera. Take these two ingredients and soak them in the water for a little while. After this, take some baking soda and use it to rinse the lemon and aloe vera. Make sure you are being thorough with this step and rinse the baking soda off with water cleanly. After this, you will use a napkin to dry the ingredients. With this, you have made sure that your ingredients are clean. The next step is for you to take the lemon and cut off the ends. Take the knife and cut the lemon into small pieces once the ends have been removed. 
Take all these pieces and put them into a blender. And make sure you blend them till they become a slurry. Is it not fun so far? Now you will take the aloe vera that has been washed with baking soda and dried with a napkin. You will cut off the sharp edges of the aloe vera and only keep the middle part of the body. Now repeat the same you did for the lemon. Cut the aloe vera into small parts and put them into the blender. Again, make sure you blend it till it is a clumpy mixture and there are no big chunks of aloe vera left. You will keep these both ingredients aside in a glass jar. Now for the next ingredient, ginger. For this, you will need to scrap the skin of the ginger off first. After which, you can grate the ginger to get one tablespoon of pure ginger extract. Add this to the glass jar and keep it aside. Take the delicious honey out of your cupboard because now is its time to shine as a health remedy and not just a decoration for your desserts. Take two full tablespoons of the honey and add it to the jar. Once all the ingredients have been added to the glass jar, with a big sturdy spoon mix it all up. Keep in mind to mix it all completely and well so there are no clumps. Now you have a strong potion that can be stored in for the next four to five days. How simple is this strong remedy? And how do you use this remedy? Well, all you have to do is take one tablespoon full of this potion and add it to 100 milliliters of water. Mix it up and have this for one of the strongest remedies ever. It is definitely going to work stronger than just garlic and lemon. This is as simple as it gets. An amazing remedy against all the bacteria that we suffer against. Exercise caution. While all these ingredients are natural and healthy, it is best you do not blindly take it. Make sure you are aware of your allergies or any limitations you have against these ingredients. This is quite a concentrated potion, so be sure to dilute it before you consume it. Consult a professional to make sure that you have no negative reactions to any of the ingredients used here. Otherwise, you have a remedy that will not easily be deterred from helping your body. I hope you have found exactly what I have been trying to give you. While garlic and lemon might be a mild remedy, it does not have a strong or quick effect. Because of this, the above recipe is sure to help you with many of your troubles. From the lemon to the sweet honey, each ingredient has its unique role to play here. All of it comes together to help you in the best way possible. And this is all I want to do for you and help you with your health inquiries. Make sure you like this video and share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones to show your support. Help the people around you also find a fitting remedy to help their troubles. While you do that, you can also subscribe to more such videos where we prioritize health. Click on that notification button too, to keep yourself updated every time we post new content. Until then, let me know your success with this remedy in the comments, and I will see you in the next video, health enthusiasts.